This video is going to be about Bootstrap and Bootstrap Studio and how to put videos into your designs. So anyway, we're just going to put create new design, seeing the usual panels and stuff. And uh, so here we are. And if we go to the left hand side again, uh, we see something called dynamic, uh, dynamically queued videos. Um, this is what you would see probably on something like YouTube where it's like a playlist and I would avoid that actually unless you know what you're doing. If somebody wants us to do that and um, want, want to know how to do it, that's okay. Just get back to us and I'll do a video on that. But the easiest way to do it really is by just, uh, just getting your video and, and just putting that there. Okay, so you got that. Just get this up and... So what we have here is something called, I hope you can see this, iframe width 560 height 315. So what I want to, want to do with this is just, um, we just want to convert to HTML, uh, like I've said in other videos, convert to HTML, um, custom code, edit code, and uh, here we are round this bit here. So if we just move this here, there we go. All right. So we'll just come out of that. Okay. So what you need to do here is put, um, you can, and I'll, I'll show you this later. It's like would be source for a video that you'll be doing yourself with SRC and speech marks. Anyway, the easiest way I think to, to do this is just go to something like if, if you want, even your own videos, I would suggest just putting them on YouTube and accessing them by this because it's so much easier. Anyway, we've got Skyfall here, okay, and um, we just going to uh, let her go away. Um, and we're just going to share this. Okay. Now, shut up, LL. Okay, so now I embed. Okay, okay. So what you can do there is just copy and then just take this take this out and paste in Bootstrap Studio um, for some unknown reason. Uh, like a few other um, programs, doesn't like to uh, do the right click thing. So it's Control V and there is your frame post, iframe post. Okay, and then you just click Apply and uh, there is Adele coming up, okay. <clears throat> um, so to preview this, we just, preview is disabled, open in browser, and here's Microsoft Edge and with Adele, okay. So that's pretty easy enough to do. And that's the way I would um, do videos actually. I think it's, I think it's pretty simple. Uh, there is other ways, HTML5, you can use something called video uh, with tags and you can control and all the rest of it with that. I think uh, sometimes it's a, I think this is the best way. Um, the other way though is, I'll show you what I've got on on, um, on my desktop. If you are seeing um, a very distorted um, picture as a background image, it's not actually distorted at all, it's the actual screenshot program not rendering um it's basically because that's what they do want they're not very good at that but anyway here we have two videos okay one is saxon and it's a wmv file which is basically a thing for windows browsers don't recognize that very good so really what you want to be doing is this mp4s okay and this is basically if you want to put your um, video up online on your site and not go the YouTube or Vimeo route okay so what you do here is and I've got to say that Bootstrap Studio has a bug okay so here we have this here and again we're just gonna we're just gonna do what I did before convert to HTML and, and then I'm going to edit code. OK. 
Okay. So, as I said before, in, in this here, okay, we want saxon.mp4. <coughs> so I just put source. Sorry about my throat. I've got a bit of a, a sore throat on that. Um, so we just put the speech marks in there. So it's src equals speech marks. And this is just going to be saxon mp4. Okay. Right. Apply that there. Okay, so here on Bootstrap Studio it says F404, not found. We just export this and we go into, that's fine that it wouldn't be found because it hasn't got, hasn't linked it or it's not in the same, um, <clears throat> it's not in the same folder. So that's why it wouldn't link there. But if you just pop this in here, select folder, okay, and export. And down here it says your design was exported. Save. Okay, so we just go back to the folder and we see index here. Okay. Right. So there we see in the, this is how you do it. All you're doing is source equals whatever you, you MP4 is good. AVIs, you can do that as well, but not WMVs for browsers because <coughs> browsers don't render it very good <clears throat> um, so yeah so that's that's basically how to do this um, if you did it through bootstrap studio <clears throat> watch it work now because I've said it won't okay so there you are see sorry we can't find this resource um, it's actually telling lies really <clears throat> because it can so Bootstrap Studio, I don't know what the problem is here, but that really should be working. So we just, if we go to open and uh, show us, send to as move to, do, 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 open with Microsoft Edge. <coughs> okay, so there you see that this is working absolutely perfectly. Of course, you can put it wherever you want in your web designs and all that. Um, but the thing is, is there is a bug on here i think um i haven't played around with it too much but this is it's very easy to do if you just you know you can sometimes get unstuck with videos uh sometimes the you think oh why they're not playing and all this business and it can just be a dot here and there out but that's all you're doing really is you just uh, just making that as a um a demonstration source equals saxon.mp4 you can name your um, films wherever you want. So anyway, I hope, uh, hope you've learned something from that. It's a question that comes up every so often. So I thought I'd do a video with, the, uh, with Bootstrap Studio and video. Again, if you want to go through uh, dynamically queue videos, it is a, a lot more harder work. But of course, you know, just ask questions if you want. And uh, okay, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.